Good morning. This is AD5NL here in Austin, Texas. Uh, it's been a late night, an early morning of uh, quiet experimentation that continues on a project that uh, intrigues me. When I was a kid, I always used to take umbrellas and try to flip them into satellite dishes. Uh, at least, you know, when we were playing astronaut with our cardboard spaceships and, uh, you know, uh, suits made out of aluminum foil and whatnot. But it turns out that a collapsible antenna might be a half, uh, or a collapsible umbrella might be a decent antenna. I got a little ahead of myself there. Um, basically, got a collapsible cheap antenna or uh, umbrella that I got uh, at a discount store, probably Walmart. I've got a SO239 connector here that I attached using uh, some nylon ties. Uh, note that I'm trying not to short anything, so it's electrically isolated from all the spines here. Uh, I've got RG8X connecting to that, and then I've got a couple of uh, test leads coming off of it. The uh, shield there, or the, the, the ground side of the chassis connector, is uh, connected to with a, a screw to this black alligator clip going to one of the spines, uh, which are all connected electrically and then the uh, center shaft here of the umbrella you know what attaches to the handle I've got going to this red alligator clip now the uh, spines and the center shaft are electrically isolated so what we should have here is basically a, a 19 inch monopole uh, with the radials on top anyways I've got uh, got my coax here leading, uh, well, right now it's not leading anywhere because we're going to do a comparison against the uh, stock antenna that comes with one of these uh, little uh, TV dongles that I've got going on here, the uh, RTL-SDR dongles, which I've got wrapped up in aluminum foil to try and provide some electrical shielding. So anyways, <clears throat> what I've been listening to has been a... Uh, Beacon on the other side of Austin on the two meter band, which is at uh, 144295. And on the umbrella, I was able to pick it up. Uh, the call is K5RMG for a Roadrunner Microwave Group. And it looks like with the stock antenna, I don't see anything now. There is a pause between beacons, but we should uh, see something momentarily in the trace if, if we're going to get anything. I think, I think it's just barely, just barely there. <clears throat> Let's see if we can turn up the volume on the TV set. Got the TV hooked up to a Linux box with the GQRX. I think you could see a straight line there on the trace that's barely visible, but it's, it's basically inaudible. Um... Note that our base noise level uh, right now is kicking around, uh, I'd say, negative 72. Let's wait a few more seconds and see if we see anything show up on the trace. Okay, if the signal's there, it's extremely weak. And again, this is with the stock antenna. Now, <clears throat> let's go out here swap connectors. So we've got the RG8X uh, attached to an adapter that goes to SMA and then from SMA <coughs> it goes to MCX for this little guy. So this is a right angle MCX. Let's uh, get this clipped in here. Alright, so we've got our MCX to SMA, and then our SMA to UHF, then that goes back to the umbrella. All right. <clears throat> Note that our noise level is actually a little bit, uh, seems a little lower. Um, and we definitely can see in the trace now the uh, beacon here from K5RMG. Let's uh, turn up the volume a little bit. You can probably hear some 
So what we're going to see with this beacon when it recycles is uh, VVVDEK5RMG and then a long, I'd say about three second uh, burst and then a uh, another burst, I think at lower power. According to the information I have, this beacon is running at 10 watts uh, and then has a 1 watt mode and a 0.1 watt, so there we go. There's our uh, test tone, and our second test tone, which is barely audible. So anyways, uh, basic point here, the umbrella is definitely a better antenna in terms of picking up less noise and more signal than the stock antenna. Is it a great antenna? I have no idea. I still need to do some testing, including I'm going to make an effort for the uh, 408 AM uh, pass of, uh, I believe it's NOAA 19 that's coming over next. Uh, I don't expect much because it's an east eastern approach and my patio here with the umbrella is on the uh, northwest side of the building. But if I can uh, if I can pick up one watt signals from the other side of town, you know, that's encouraging. Have a nice morning, 73s. This is 85 and L.